Okay, so now we start the training about theater audio and video system solutions. In this webinar, we are going to share you the whole solution about a theater. We have divided into four parts. First, project overview. Second, solution. Third, function application. And at last, typical cases for you, the reference. Okay, let's keep going. Talk about the project overview. So as a theater, there will be many devices and uh, application parts to be made. As you can see from the picture, there are some screens, LED screens that we can uh, apply. And also the sound system is also very important. As you can see from the first picture, there are some line array speaker embedded on the ceiling. There are two main speakers and a two media speaker. And also for the stage, we will uh, apply some stage monitor. And for the sound, for the bass sound, we have will provide some subwoofers and some uh, uh, sound re reinforcement sub, sub speakers. Okay, and also uh, we could also provide some light, stage lighting on the top of the stage. In this project, Let's have, have a look at the overview. The theater is a place specially used for performing drama, opera, singing and dancing, folk art, and so on. Usually divided into stage and uh, auditorium. Nowadays, some theaters also has the function of showing movies. Uh, this is a theater with double layer structure. The control room is behind the auditorium on the second floor. Uh, the dimension is 40 meter by 25 meter. Floor height is 12 meters. The stage is framed with a width of 22 meter and the depth of 10 meters. The orchestra pit is 18 meters and the width of depth of uh, 3.5 meters. So according to this uh, size of each part, we will provide a, a specialized solution. Now let's uh, introduce one part by one. Okay, solution part. Our design principles, we have th five principles to uh, design this project. First, it must be high tech and also it could uh, be economical and most importantly, the environment friendly. And for user, it must be efficient and uh, user friendly. The operation must be very easy. Anyone could uh, control it very easily. So this is our design principles. With this principle in uh, I, as idea, as we have a framework of these whole solutions, we have four parts need to be deal with. First, the background server layer, service layer. We need a platform to you know to uh, build build up to load up all these functions. This platform will be the theater AV system control platform. Okay, and uh, the basic, we need to do some basic in integra integration, like conference, sound, and the big screen, stage lighting, and the center control of everything, uh, the video matrix to switch the video, and the intercom, and some state machinery. Okay, about the application, we need to do is centralized control, digital conference, and the people speech, uh, theoretical performance, and the 4K display for of the uh, screen for a good performance, and the signal switching about the video matrix, internal communicate by the intercom, performance, atmosphere by the stage lighting and the stage machinery. We have uh, several users like speaker on the stage, performer on the stage, and the sound engineer, graffer, or some staff member and uh, administrator. All these personnel need to be, uh, need to have the authority to control all the system. So with this framework, we are uh, able to know better how to uh, design this solution. Okay, first let's talk about the sound acquisition, uh, sound applications. Okay, as you can see from this picture, we have put many speakers on the stage. First, firstly, the design of the line array speakers. There are uh, in totally four lines of 
speakers here. Left binary speaker and the right binary speaker for the main sound reinforcements. And uh, in the middle, because it's a very large stage and uh, auditorium, so need so we need to add some more speaker in the middle to you know, to cover up all the audience. And we will also besides the besides the sound system, we also to we also to uh, apply the LED screen on the main stage for the performance or some uh, movies and some other display and uh, the side screen as well for some informations. And uh, for the conference, we could apply our wireless conference system in this auditorium. For controlling all this device, we need to uh, apply the center control system to realize the centralized controlling, including signal switching and uh, some like volume uh, adjusting, sound adjusting, light adjusting, and stage lighting as well will be mounted on the top of the ceiling. Okay, this is the design idea of this whole sound system. As you can see, uh, for the sound system, we'll, uh, as I mentioned before, we have applied some line array speaker on the top, sub-speaker sub uh, to place around the auditorium to have uh, reinforcements and subwoofer on the uh, on the floor to have a bass sound and the uh, uh, sub-speaker on the front to give a sound to the uh, audi audience sit at this area. So as you can see, we have placed many speakers, like main speakers. Main speakers will be the line array speakers, these four, and the stage front speakers, wall mount on both sides, stage to cover the area on the left and right side, this one, this one. We have a sound reinforcements of the front audience and the center speakers, these two, stage lip speakers and the stage monitor stage monitor for the people on the stage to hear their own sound, subwoofer for the bass effect meet the bass requirements of the theoretical performance. And uh, for sub-speakers, we have placed some uh, sub-speaker as well, and uh, place some uh, sub-speaker as well on the second floor. Here is the detailed introduction, line array speakers, meet line array speakers, subwoofer sub speakers and we also need the stage monitor to be in the brand because also the performance need to hear the sound they played and also you can see there are surround speakers on second floor for the audience on the second floor to ensure the sound quality we need to do some uh, sound system uh, instructions uh, need to do some constructions sound constructions for the place like this theater, the requirement of the uh, environment is very high. So it is not only necessary to solve the problem of uh, eco sound focus and clear sound, etc., but also to meet the reverberation time requirement of the theater by uh, RT about one second. Also, we need to consider flexion of seats, walls, ceilings, floors, etc. All the uh, all the stuff and the uh, materials is uh, they could make some uh, echoes or the sound focus. In this case, we need to uh, make some sound approaching board to cancel the reverberation, reverberation efficiently uh, improve the fullness, charity, and stereo of the admit sound quality. So this kind of uh, materials commonly we use it to avoid the echo. And uh, for every project we made, if the, if the client need, we can uh, give them a, a simulation of the sound field by the ease software. By the ease software, we can uh, make kind of a simulation picture, and then the user could see. So the user could see the the sound field very clearly by this simulation picture. As you can see. Next, we talk about the LED display system. In the LED design principle, we need it to be 4K display. No nails or no tails or dragging. It must to be high definition quality and uh, with 4K HD lossless display with the ultra long service life, auto brightness adjusting, efficient and uh, energy saving. And then we need a simple installation and maintenance. Ultra long service life is uh, 100,000 hours. So in these principles, we will design the LED like 
following all these requirements. Okay, please wait. Uh, wait a moment. Yeah. Sounds look like there are some problems with the network. We will resume the introduction in a few minutes. Okay, we were talking about the LED designing, about this LED design idea. We, according to the design drawings and the, the customer needs, considering the best viewing distance and the cost, uh, we normally will choose the P2.5 LED screen for the main, for the main screen. And it must to be a die casting LED structure because it's very big and the structure needs to be very strong, strong enough to, you know, load up, load up all the power of the LED screen. And for the smaller screen, we could apply a magnetic structure LED screens because it's smaller and the weight apply the magnetic solution. Both of them support the front maintainers, which is very simple. And uh, the size of the main screen is, for instance, is 15.7872 by 7.68 meters. It, it is a very large screen. And for small one, and for the main resolution, it achieved the 4K. We, I guess everybody knows the 4K resolution needs to be 3,840 by 2,160. To meet this 4K requirement, we need this kind of resolution. And these are some uh, highlights of the LD screen. First, we have a high frame rate, bigger than 60 Hertz, and high refresh rate of 3,840 Hertz. Second, it has the intelligent brightness adjustment, high efficiency, and uh, very energy saving. We have some uh, high tech sensor will be built into the front of the screens, and uh, the sensor will sense the environment brightness. So according to the environment light brightness, the screen will also follow up the environment lights, very flexible. And uh, for about the maintainers, it's very easy for the technician to maintain. You just need a vacuum sacker, just put on the screen, and then you were able to uh, pull off, pull off the, as you can see in this page, by using this kind of tool, you can do the maintenance. And last, we have a low brightness and high green level, ultra edge and the lossless, which means we have a very high video resolution and the quality. Okay, number three, we could also apply the digital conference system in the theater, in the auditorium. About the system, the connection is very simple. It's wireless, Wi-Fi conference connected. We just need one conference host and with the extra AP, all the wireless microphone will be connected to the AP and then the people on the stage or on the, or the auditor, audience could use the microphone to have a, have a, a discussion. These are some design highlights. Now, this design is with very powerful meeting management function, and uh, it's very simple with wiring. It's super strong wireless signal and a powerful wireless microphone. About the details of the conference design, as you can see here, sometimes we need to use uh, uh, use to use the theater for large reports or some news reports, some meeting discussion. So the requirements will be. Uh, they will need the requiring the microphone units. It's better we apply the wireless microphone because it's, the wiring is very simple and it has a very good sound quality. These are some features about the microphones. First, it's zero interface. It's very hard to uh, interference the microphone's sound because this system, we have adopted 5G Hertz communication frequency band to achieve a true zero interference. And the second, convenience management, master real-time information, uh, conduct com comprehensive hardware monitoring, which means we can use the software to monitor the uh, conference during the discussion. And it's with low latency, easy installation, no wiring required. And with high confidentially, it adopts 128 bits AES encryption technology, make the uh, discussion or the conference safe and with high identity sound. And what's more, with the software, you can check every details about the uh, personnel, like and fill up uh, all the personnel's name, first name, second name, or you can control the, or you can send him a message on the software and you can check the uh, power of the microphones and the signals, signals, strengthness, and some other details about the 
conference. So it's very convenient. And the fourth, we uh, also need to apply the central control system in this auditorium because there are numerous devices like sound and uh, air conditioning, lighting, and video, video signal switching. All this controlling uh, must to be centralized control by one device. That's why we uh, apply this centralized center control system. We just need one network center controller. This one, it will control all of the device, like the volume of the speaker, it will uh, control and the uh, air conditioning and uh, the lamp, lamp switch, light switch, and video switching about the screen and some other third party controlling. As long as the third party device support the RS232 or RS485, the protocol, RS485 or 232 protocol, they will able to control the third party device with this central controller. There are multiple input ports in the back. And uh, with this central controller, we'll just uh, load the control program into the system. And then we'll need also a interface, the user interface, which will be also designing the page. And with another environmental switch controller uh, to realize the environmental control. These are some uh, system highlights. Most importantly, uh, one key control of all requirements of the conference room. And it also support the time management with a convenient and a fast integration. Uh, Real-time feedback of current equipment working status, customizable software operation interface. We can design the user interface here, as you can see, as you wish by our hands. You can add your logo onto the interface and add some uh, special buttons and uh, some uh, intelligent uh, interface, so on. And second, uh, we also need a splicing matrix system here because there are multiple screens here. We need a splicing controller, you know, to distribute the video signals. All these normal video signals can be gets can be integrated into the signal control matrix, like camera, PC, recording host, analog signal like uh, analog camera or some other device like PC with HDMI signal outputs. So all this kind of uh, video signal can be integrated with only one controller to distribute. And uh, the controller will also support the multiple signal outputs like HDMI, SDI, 3G HDI, uh, 3G SDI or VGA and so on and so on for the monitor speaker in the rank room. And this is the design ideas you need to know is that with this matrix, multiple input and outputs, we are able to switch all the video signals. Second, we have two four channel HDMI input cards. The input cards could be HDMI or DVI or 3G or HD based. Any kinds of video source input depends on the user's need. And also as well, SDI as well, different signals, input and output. And the highlights of the system, first, splicing, roaming, wingling, and other functions, Op optional 2K or 4K board, mixed use, and apply some uh, high-end 4K board, 4K HDMI board onto the splicer. And third, pluggable card, purchase on demand, easy to replace. If there's any uh, problem with the signal or malfunction or about the card, we can just uh, pull it off and then replace it with a new card. It's a it is plug and play. It's very easy to maintain. Number four, multi-type signal access. Okay, uh, next one, we have the stage lighting system. To meet the uh, requirements of this auditorium, we need to consider four parts. First, illumination index and the color temperature projection position about the, uh, you know, to get the uh, performance on stage very clear and the dimming cabinet anti-interface index. To know about this, uh, all these four details, we will uh, design the system, follow the principles, the four principles. We have many types of lights here. First, top light. Top light will be uh, hanging on the ceiling, you know, to have a light on the ceiling to light up the stage. 
and second angled front light. This kind of light will be projected on the stage from both sides, from left side or right side. This will be the stage, as you can see from the new speaker. Side light will just have a, a divided into two dimension and uh, make sure the 3D, 3D dimensional uh, appearance of the performance of the stage. And cyclomer lights have a very great atmosphere. Also, it will be put on the ceiling. For follow spotlight, usually we will be uh, using for the following for the performance. Performers, there will be some uh, people on the stage. They will uh, do some performance or singing or dancing. So we will use this following spotlight to, to focus on the player. And uh, for the lighting position combination, we have different types of uh, uh, different positions of light: front light, side light, back light, spotlight, front of the rear areas of the stage. And the subject is highlighted with spotlight, forming a clear picture with both general general lighting and uh, emphasis. With all these kind of different position lights, we will do different combination the uh, lightings. In this project, we have uh, applied some front light and the top light for the first the, for the first lane, second lane, third lane. And uh, we can uh, apply the lanes depending on the depths, depending on the depths of the, the stage. So uh, normally we will just um, apply one lane by one meter. The distance will be one, one meter. So if the depths, uh, if the depth is five meter, maybe we'll just put four lane of the lightings on the ceiling. And we will also make some uh, uh, environmental lightings like power light to uh, have a color, have a colorful stage. And uh, about the LED flat panel light, we just give a normal, give, give the normal light, ensure the brightness of the stage, moving headlight for the performance and uh, follow spotlight for the player or dancer on the stage. These are some uh, highlights about the lighting effects. By using this lighting system, we can ensure that the average illuminance of the performance area is 800 to 1,200 luminex. And uh, it's project it to the performance area at the front of the stage. Objects on the stage present a three-dimensional effect. So to make the object on the stage much more vivid and uh, supplement the slight effect on the face of the characters so that the photo or the video is bright and clear. So sometimes we'll make a recording or uh, photographing of the stage. So this kind of light will ensure the brightness and the clearness of the video or photos. And during meetings, these lights during performance, these lights can render the atmosphere of the stage performance. So different types of using, we can have different uh, atmosphere. Okay. And number six, stage machinery or curtain system. We will also apply some uh, stage machinery for uh, for the curtain, automatically turn on or off. And for the lights, uh, the lights hanging, machinery. Lights hangers as well, we can provide. The lights will be hanging on the hangers on the ceiling, one by one, very uh, elegant. All these uh, surrounding parts or accessories are uh, designed for you, depending on the stage size or the heights. So this will be the stage machinery and the curtaining. Here and at the last, we want to show you some successful case. This one is the Ethiopian theater, which we have placed a sound system in order to meet the needs of the large scale performance, reports, speech, and other activities in the theater. We have designed a complete audiovisual system integrating centralized control matrix system. So uh, it's, this project is very similar to the very theater we are just talking about. We have applied a sound system, light system. Also in the uh, in the machine room, we have placed a centralized control, control lights, volume like the uh, rising up or down the, the curtain and the meeting system as well for the chairman, for the delegators to speak. So it's very centralized system. Second, we have a Hongyuan Performing Arts Center in Sichuan. We also provided the sound quality sound system. We have placed many speakers here, as you can see, and the stage monitor as well. And the LED screen on the front as well. Also, we'll place some uh, speak 
speaker microphone on the stage for the uh, for the administrator or the chairman to speak. And uh, when you have primary school, you can see from the page, we have played some uh, light system to ensure the brightness and the sound system as well, and the LED screen as well. So it's, it's just like a one-stop solution we can provide. Okay, so that's all for the slider today.